in Sun Kwa, it's really important because it is establishes the foundation for the whole system. It establishes your connection with planet Earth and how you are going to move around, how you're going to na navigate life, how you're going to navigate your, your actions, your, your body movement. And so your capacity to be sung, now sung in this case means to, to release into the intrinsic support of your connective tissue system. So this goes back to that first point. It's like, if we get, you know, if we can release into the connective tissue system, that means that we're letting go of extraneous muscular tension. Doesn't mean all muscular tension, just means extraneous, that which is not necessary. So we learn to, to modulate our, the muscular activity consciously so that we are not um, pre-consciously uh, reacting and, and tensing up things that don't need to be tensed. And so the more we can trust our foundation, that is our, the way that our legs and hips hold up our torso, the more we can do that, the more we can Ah, we can relax because the way most people stand, it is, it's precarious. It's, you know, they're, they're leaning backward they're, and it requires a lot of muscular tension just to stand up. But if you get Sun Kwa, then you are using the appropriate support structures to allow your body to your upper body particularly to release tension and the legs to do the work that they're designed to do. So um, I just came up with, with an idea, I, it might not be new to others, but it's, it's, it's kind of a, a way of approaching this because the Sung is not just an idea. It's not just some, you know, I've taught many ways about how to get more Sung, but the um, it's not just an idea. There is a feeling there. There's a feeling of sung. It's and I think it's really important to know what um, what that feels like and to how to get there quickly, easily, and learn to trust it. And when that happens, everything works a little more smoothly. So. Um, Uh, so this is a, an idea, and I want to point out that it's not a, something that is ideal, it's just a way of getting more familiar with Sung. And as, you, as that happens, then you move more and more in the direction of being able just to go there without, without any, you know, any help. But this is a way of of, of helping. So why don't you stand up and let's uh, let's play around with this. Okay, stand with your feet about a hip width apart. And so the, I want to make a distinction between yang extension and yin support. So if you were to push away from the earth, so as if you're going to kind of push your head up toward the ceiling, this is a yang extension. So we're all very familiar with that. You know, they're like, we're lifting up, we're doing a, a squat or something, we're you know, or pushing away from the earth. Now, go the other direction and just kind of uh, drop in to your legs. So that now you're feeling the yin support. You're no longer pushing away from the earth, but you're, huh, you're, you're relaxing into it. Now you're gonna push away, pushing, come up, 
and feel what that's like. So what you right now you're creating separation between you and your root. And your root as a result becomes compromised because you're pushing away from the earth. And now ah, drop again and feel now, feel the connection with the earth as you do that. Feel that the heaviness of your body as it drops down into your legs. But also notice that your upper body can get very relaxed whenever you have that. Now push away again. Feel that extension, that yang extension. You're using your yang muscles to create length. And now release and uh, drop down. And that's your yin support. So let's step forward with your left foot and pick up your right heel and push away. Feel that yang extension and release down yin support. That yin support is what we're referring to as sung. So now we're releasing down into that intrinsic structure of the body. We've created a shape. We're saying, okay, this shape, it is sufficient to hold me up. I can trust this shape. I can relax into this shape. I can hold that. Now I'm going to push away again. Oh, I'm not, I'm no longer relaxing into that shape. I'm extending. I'm getting taller. And now ah, release down and feel that. Feel that. Ah. Now go to your back foot, your right foot, pick up your front heel. Same idea, you're pushing away and ah, dropping down, feeling that yin support. Feel the solidity. Just and pause for a moment and just feel what that's doing to your energy, your, your energy. How that sense of connection with the earth that comes from this creates a it opens the, the, the energy gate in the foot. Now push away again and sink. Release. Good. Now put your right foot forward. Now pick up your left heel, all the weights in your front leg, and now you're pushing away. And release. And push away. Feel what that feels like to push away. Feel how that breaks your root. Now sink back and feel. Ah, that yin support coming up. Feel yeah, how much how much you can relax your back, your neck. Relax, just allow your 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 sacrum to drop and just feel that sinking there. Go to your your left foot and pick up your front heel, push away and sink. And push away, extend, yang, and sink, yin. Feel into the yin. Feel the support there. Feel the power that comes with that. Feel the relaxation in your arms as you do that. So the more we can trust this yin support and the yin energy that accompanies it, the more we can let go of that tension in the neck and the back and the shoulders, the, the jaw, all these things that we hold tight. Good. So now we're going to we're going to go from the back foot to the front. So the left foot is holding me up now. So I'm going to push away from from the ground, so this is yang extension. And then I feel the ball of the right foot, set my knee and uh, release down into the front leg. Remember, this is, not, this is not the ideal way of doing this. This is just a way of familiarizing yourself with the, with the sung. So feel the sung in that front leg. Now push away, feel that yang and 
feel the back, the left foot, the left ball, set the left knee and ah, sink into that. So you're dropping into that. You're feeling that yin support and push away and go into the front and sink and push away and sink. Good, and put your left foot forward and push away and right ball, set the right knee and sink. Push away from the earth and into the left ball, set the left knee and sink. So just feel into the stability of that. Now we're gonna take it a step further and using that familiarity that we have here, we're going to now feel the ball of the left foot we're going to set the left knee and without pushing away, we're just going to sink and, and just release into that. Now feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward and release into the right, the left ball. So, so it's right ball, set the right knee and without pushing away, you're just going to kind of feel into that and sink down into that. And notice that as you get familiar with this, you don't need that dropping in. It, but it helps to, to, to do that as, you, as you're developing that, that awareness. So now as you're going into the, the front leg, you're gonna feel the, feel the ball, the, the left foot set the left knee. And this time you're going to spiral down to the left. So you're loading up that left claw, you're releasing down into it and you're just feel your arms, your arms are nice and relaxed, your shoulders are nice and relaxed and you're feeling into that support. And now you just turn your body back to center. And now you're gonna feel the ball of the right foot or the left foot, yeah, the right foot, I'm sorry, the back one. You're gonna feel the ball, set the knee and spiral down to the right. So you're gonna do that and you're gonna kind of and when I say spiraling down, you're sinking and turning at the same time. And then you turn back to center. And then step back with your left foot, put your right foot forward. So feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward without loading it up. You're just pushing that forward and you're feeling the ball, you're setting the, and you're spiraling down to the left, feel that. So you feel you're loading up that right leg. Just feel that you're sung, okay? And then turn to center. Now feel the ball of the left foot. You set the left knee and you're gonna release the left claw. You're gonna spiral down to the right. So you're loading that up and turning back to center. So we're getting that feeling of what that feels like to be sung where you don't need the up and down. The up and down is a way of, of training awareness of, of this of this song. So you bring your feet back to center. And just as you inhale, this time without moving your body, you're just going to just feel the inhale lifting you up, expanding, and then exhale, sinking. And inhale and exhale. Feel that deep letting go inside. So this is something you can do 100 times a day. Just take a breath and ah, relax. You can do it standing, sitting, whatever. It's just anytime you are inhaling, you're, you're uh, activating the, the um, the uh, sympathetic nervous system, creating that in the doing aspect and then exhaling, that's parasympathetic, it's more into the feeling, the sensory. So we're doing this little dance that uh, between the sensory and the motor neuro neurons. <sighs> And each time we do it, each time we get a, a, a familiarity with what that feels like to be sung, we can then, uh, we can learn to activate that 
just by our thoughts.